the beginning, I want, would like to say thanks to the Bredent company, especially to all the Bredent um, uh, family members, because uh, I think Bredent company is not a company uh, as we know, it's a big family, and the father of the family is Peter Brehm, and we worked together since 2004. Uh, we met us for the first time when I tried to explain him uh, the possibilities of immediate loading of edentulous patients and about the life quality we can get the patients uh, by this concept. And we started during the discussion a very intensive um, uh, uh, change of uh, interests and meanwhile I think we are we work really uh, we are also team members and family members of the bread and uh, family and um, what want we um, speak today about long-term stable and successful or rehabilitation in minimative uh, minima uh, minimal invasive implant treatment um, we show implantology and prosthetics with new concepts and solutions. And here is our team. We are eight doctors and three master dental technicians. Uh, the twin brother Frank and Stefan Kistler are well known. And also um, Professor Neugebauer. He is our scientific part. Uh, we discuss we, uh, together we work close together, and this is where we come from a very little, very tiny town, only 30,000 inhabitants, close to Munich. Here is Germany, here is Munich, and we look from this nice building every day to this um, wonderful um, old city, and, to, and we see the river here, big river, from the orbs, from the mountains. And implantology means team implantology. Only a close cooperation between the dental office and the dental lab will be successful doing this treatment concepts. We have meanwhile more than seven years experience with this fast and fixed treatment concept. And at the beginning, we make, must make a right planning. This is the most important thing to um, make the right choice to see all the factors. And we have soft conditions of the patients, like the age, the aesthetic needs of the patients, the demands, the wishes of our patients. We, it depends on the capability to do this concept of the size of defects and also economical factors as well as the bony situation. Hard factors is the, um, are uh, what can we do with our implant system and what's about the team. And the team means always dental technician and uh, uh, office team are sitting in one boat, working together as close as we can. The possibilities of the implant system under the aspect of primary stability, under the um, uh, existence of prostodontic components, and especially the experience and the skillness of the team. Not only under surgical eyes, even under the eyes of the dental technician and our assistants. The Congress here focused on our and your clinical and clinic's success. What's success? All of you and we also, we want more cases in implantology more implant patients and um, more uh, complete restorations. We try to avoid complications. 
less failures means we are more su successful and we can save our nerve costume. We try to offer the patient the long-term stability of uh, the solutions. And we want to get, at the end, satisfied patients. Patients who are happy, who uh, with a high recommendation rate uh, to our clinic. Also, we want to be economically successful. And this works only when we uh, can get and offer the patients predictable outcomes. And we want to have simple logistics. We want to reduce the number of components and where can we get it? <coughs> it's a beginning, I said it before, we need a right case evaluation. We must find treatment guidelines and uh, the decision to do means uh, during the case evaluation we have different possibilities to find a solution, customized, and we must identify the risks of all our steps, of all our treatment. Case evaluation begins with the expectation and the wishes of the patient. We must know what um, uh, uh, want the patient from us, what's about the situation. And if you look, this case have a very different demand of the patient like this. Here is a severe periodontitis. Here perhaps are aesthetic problems uh, due to the thin gingiva and the high lip line, the gummy smile perhaps. And this is a patient who has problems and he wants to solve the problems immediately. The same, such a, um, a case with uh, a solution we find with an ideal uh, relation between the upper and the lower jaw, we could um, turn it from a, a progenic um, a bite to a regular bite. Here, a case where a patient is missing a lateral incisor of the maxilla, and he wants to create and, to, and we want to create a perfect harmony of soft tissue uh, together with um, uh, 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 white components of the dental technician. Or here, a severe case solved with implants. What's about the smile line? It's a second step we want to see how looks the face here, how many um, uh, 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 of the gum, uh, the soft tissue we can see when the patient is speaking or laughing. We must evaluate this and regard in our treatment concept. Here, such situation and What's about the potential uh, of patients we have? This is a projected age distribution in Germany in 1990. The most, the main group of the uh, uh, people were younger than 40. Ten years later, the main group is growing up to over 40. And now, in 2011, the main group is close to 50. And in 10 years, the main group is between 60 and 50. And this is our potential for this treatment concept in, um, because they are going to be identitious. 
and uh, further 10 years there is really a, a, a big challenge for all dentists in Germany to find economical solutions to give life quality back to the main group of the population. The main group is our um, patients elder than 55 years and the average around about 65. And we must regard the prosthetic possibilities and when we, uh, um, we have to accept that the main reason of tooth loss will be periodontitis. And that means we have an atrophic um, jaw. The bone situation is different to um, a younger patient. And this defect, this um, horizontal defects are, and vertical defects can restore by surgical with a very intense um, procedure or can do with a, um, a prostodontic especially a dental technician treatment concept. At least all patients want to be nice and uh, teeth, fixed teeth, and we can um, get this goal. The main part of these implant cases do not need big augmentation procedures because we are, don't work in the aesthetic zone using tilted implants. I've said before, the mo uh, mostly uh, um, lost dentitions are dentitions caused by periodontitis. Immediate function is highly appreciated by the patients because they have fe uh, fear from augmentation procedures and if you uh, think the complications we have to accept uh, doing severe um, uh, and intensive augmentation. We know it all in this uh, room that uh, we can have problems. Problems in the prosthetic phase overshadow surgical success. That means the dental technician together with a, um, a, a prosthodontic try to get the right system without any complication. Removable dentures are not very appreciated because people think implants mean, means always fixed teeth. Uh, how can we achieve immediate loaded uh, fixed teeth? Think before we have multiple implants also in the distal area. A big number of implants to get the, um, a high stability, we thought it was our thinking. More implants are useful in our um, uh, mind before. And we, here in this case, we have done multiple steps to create such bone and to uh, get uh, this construction. At, in, at the beginning is we must see what's about the bone situation. Can we offer the patient the, uh, this treatment concept? And I think it's necessary to get a three-dimensional um, diagnosis to see really what's about the bone, how many bone is available, what's about the residual bone in our um, implant site, and the DVT is our standard meanwhile. In our clinic we have two DVT devices and Jörg Neugebauer published last week uh, his new uh, book about DVT. It's a standard book together with um, his former uh, colleague Jörg, um, Professor Zöller from Cologne University and the uh, possibilities and the chances work with this device are enormous. We can explain the patient what's about the residual uh, dentition uh, is 
there any chance to maintain, to keep this uh, um, uh, teeth? Or like here, we have pocket, we see here the buckle plate, we can measure the distance to the uh, bottom of the nose, and then we can um, make a right planning of the length and the width and the diameter of the implant. This is helpful for augmentation uh, to argument together with the patient and to discuss with him why we must uh, remove his um, uh, teeth and here we can demonstrate the patient the problems here, big uh, buccal uh, defect. And this, we have more than 12 years experience in immediate restoration and in immediate implantation. And we have done it with a big number of implants. An implant system, a different implant system with um, uh, uh, the possibility of immediate restoration, but look, a big number we have done before it with eight implants in the lower jaw, in the upper jaw minimum eight implants, and this is ideal for under the aspect of uh, the um, uh, of money to earn money, but not ideal under the aspects of the patients. The same only four implants in a fast and fixed position. That means tilted implants distal, angulated, and we extend the emergence profile and uh, uh, using only four implants in the same way like this. And meanwhile, all our cases look like this. This is, uh, we changed the numbers, we changed the positions, and we changed the system. Why it works? It works because we um, have the so-called Malo concept. That means an optimal use of anatomically available bone structure in combination with immediate restoration of screw retained fixed bridges. In the upper jaw, the, um, the available bone between the bottom of the nose and the lateral sinus wall. In the lower jaw, the um, residual bone between the foramina mentalis in the anterior um, uh, region. And the only limitation is the placement of the posterior implants. When we do it in a straight way, then we have the implants uh, closer to a line. It looks like a line. When we make um, angulation of our implants, then we got a cross arch, a quadrupodal, um, uh, uh, and, and, and high stable um, uh, placement. How can we do it? We can do it when we are using tilted implants. It's an additional option for edentulous patients to fulfill the wishes for a fixed rehabilitation. We can avoid anatomically risk areas like the sinus cave or the nerve. We can use the maximum of the residual bone and we gain a prosthetic support in the distal area. This is the most important because implantology, in my eyes, is a prosthetic concept with surgical components. 
And here you see pictures where we can do it, angulation. And in the workshop in the afternoon, I will d demonstrate you how you can do it, how we can do it together. And the emergence profile of the distal implant is in the lower jaw in the area of the second premolar or sometimes in the area of the first molar. And it's ab absolute sufficiently to reach this stability with four implants in the lower jaw and six implants in the upper jaw. And the final goal is to get the patient a cantilever bridge from the first molar screwed with a reduced number of implants and before an immediate um, uh, uh, temporary bridge to get a one-step treatment. Here, all um, uh, x-rays look in this way. Here is the nerve. And look, the implant is behind the position of the mantle foramen. It's in the um, area of the second premolar. And then we can get this bridge. Here in the same way, it was an immediate implantation in this and a late implantation on this side. Why tilting in, uh, the implants? You see, I go back here straight. And there's a big distance tilting the implants 35 degrees. What's the real issue for this patient's group? Why should we use these tilted implants? How do we place such implants? What's about the prosthetic rehabilitation, tissue repons, effect of eccentral load, degree of implantation, gain of distal support? What's the design and handling of angulated implants? The importance of pretreatment, especially under diagnosis and planning and the possibility and safety of immediate loading protocols. I will, we will try to um, give answers to these questions uh, during lecturing together, Stefan and me. And here you see we match the components from a tilted implants with special fast and fixed components to a straight one. Here is a straight position of the implants for a bar, it's not only, um, it's not possible to create a fixed bridge because the um, stability is not ideal for a fixed bridge. And here is a position of fast and fixed with tilted implants. And now we have a configuration um, in the area of the sinus floor and have the uh, possibility to do it with a 35 degree um, angulation or with a 70.5 degree angulation. It remain, the remaining bone in the posterior maxilla and in the um, uh, uh, anterior um, it then we can make the decision which angulation we can choose. Also, we can do it with when the um, uh, crest is very narrow. And here, at the beginning, after um, the, um, removing the dentition, we can use the elbow photodynamic and antibacterial method to reduce the bacteria and to reduce the um, danger of infection. And meanwhile, we have the narrow, the small diameter of the uh, 3.5 uh, diameter sky implants. We 
um, when the bone is very dense, when we have a very uh, hard bone quality, it's, uh, we use the countersinker. And this is the shape of our sky, uh, blue sky narrow platform implant. For here, a case of immediate implantation. And we smooth the bone, we remove uh, the disturbing um, edges in this way, and we collect all bone chips to use it for a lateral enhancement of the bone. And now the matching of the uh, narrow platform, fast and fixed, perfect matching the bone is close to our titanium abutments and we are able to give the patient a long time stability of the bone. The matching of the um, fast and fixed um, abutment to the implant means always we can change the micro gap from the bone side to a side above the bone level and this is one of the reasons for the high bone stability, the good bone stability under, um, and for the long-term success. And now here are the available components depending on the angulation. A th um, 35 degree angulation means the implant is um, uh, beneath the bone level, and here we have different heights to, um, uh, uh, to uh, uh, regarding the thickness of our gingiva. We have different um, uh, angulation, 35 um, and 70.5, and we have um, uh, uh, zero. Uh, for straight implants. And here, different heights of, the, um, uh, of our components and new prosthetic conditions, the narrow platform we have seen before, and the regular platform with an intensive platform shifting, and the availability of all components for both um, solutions. And after insertion of the um, uh, impression posts, here the narrow is gold um, uh, colored. Uh, we put the bone chips back here, look, at the beginning, we have here some defects. It was an immediate implantation case. We have collected all autogenous uh, bone chips. We give them back to the surgical site. And now we have made an impression. And this is the end of the surgical step, and we give the impression to the dental lab, and now is um, uh, Mr. Adler is required, and he starts working. Uh, we start uh, we, uh, after the disinfection. The uh, uh, impression goes in the lab under the roof. We have the lab under the roof, and we have learned by fast and fixed what have you for conditions, what's the methods. What uh, we have many cases in with guided surgery, Sky Plan X, and when the patient wakes up, he has fixed teeth in one time, but it's a high price solution uh, in uh, our clinic. And we have more possibilities. We have very good materials. You like these materials for a, a best case. What we, steps, what we do, why we do fast and fixed? Have we a solution in the lab? Have we new uh, answers for the definitive case? And ha we have a guide for the dental technology. First, the conditions. This is what we need. We need uh, more heights, 
And we have three heights in the normal platform, in the narrow platform also. And we have the sleeves and all <laughs> things that we need for the temporary case and the definitive case. And it's the one and only company he has all these things for the uh, definitive and uh, temporary prosthetic. Not only the implant and the abutment is what we like, we like also prosthetic parts for the dental lab. And first, what we need is a alginate impression uh, and a bite registration before we start with the surgery. And we speak with the patient is, that's what the patient has, that's what it's like. Or go we in the temporary case to the final restoration. One step later, we make uh, a lightning teeth, not uh, a dark uh, colored teeth. And we make uh, other form and go with the uh, uh, other length or other one. And then. What we need is a palatinal arch and a retromolar trigonum for the control, the vertical height, and the bite. The patient wait in the, uh, in the clinic, and we can control this when we have night impression, nice impressions. And we can have an analyst from the vertical dimension. These are the impressions that we like. You see it here, a perfect palatinal. And here in this area, it's not swollen. It's uh, not a surgery in this area, and then we can control all these things. And what we need is a old denture from the patient that's always uh, a guide for the definitive case, uh, for the temporary case. The method, in the first time, the dental office and the lab speaks with us, and we look at the time, how long need your dental lab, what the material, have the lab the material, uh, what's the preparation? Have you documents uh, before we start? And what are the costs? And when you have here, uh, find the right solution. Your, the dental office go to the patient, said, what's the time? Is this in one step or need your uh, other day? What's the wishes? What's the cost? Can we make documents, impressions before we start with the surgery? And the next step is, the dental office, the patient, and the lab. We look at the aesthetic, a ligament of preparation, and, we have and the uh, in two or three hours, uh, perfect solutions for the patient. And what you need is a perfect workflow, the perfect material around. And always, we make around about 100 cases in the year. And uh, in, before we start, for seven years, we have many problems. And in this time, it was always easy. We have the the, the right material, and always when we say to, to the Braden company we need uh, other material, he need, we need other workflow, he created for us, and this is the result from seven years uh, investment from time and brain. Seven years fast and fixed, we have around about 550 cases, and what we have is a dental technician chair side. Only when the dental technician see what you do in the office, he can work for you. And other one, you have the most of time problems. We have an open discuss, uh, discussion, performance through what our voice, and material optimizing. It's also, and we have a structured approach with the clinic and uh, the lab. And then we have team plantology. The steps are impression and bite, model, Bite and analysis of the vertical dimension and transfer from the mouse to the plaster motel, a dental lineup, performance shrinkage, and tooth preparation for prosthetic. This, the impression, uh, the, the analogs and the impression caps in the impression. And then we have a model and we save the tissue around the apartments with a soft tissue mask and the Dental technician don't grind on the model. When the patient grind on the model, the, uh, the, the dental technician grind on the model, the patient have pain, and that's a problem. We might always, the, the, the gingival is swollen in, in two or three hours, and we make always uh, a little bit spacer to the model and always convex. Here are the impression caps, and here this is the uh, impression before, you, before we start and we save the ritual molar area and then we can look uh, at the vertical dimension. You see it here, perfect impression, this is what we like. And then 
We have uh, the line up with the Vizier line veneers. You always need veneering for this material. Then you have a big performance bridge work, framework. Uh, when you work with uh, artific artificial, artificial. Uh, artificial uh, teeth, uh, the, the bridge can broken. You must grind the artificial out. And then we make a silicon key. Here the visual line veneers with plastering. And then we have uh, the tubes on the sleeves. And the other one, we bring wax deep inside the screw canal. Here the spacer with wax. It's not placed for uh, the tube. We fill it up with performance resin. And then we have a perfect spacer. We make here big retention to bring the curiosin, the self-curing material, deep inside. And then we fix the bridge into the mouth. And we have, uh, um, and then we have uh, attention-free uh, frame, uh, uh, attention-free temporary bridge. We fill the gaps up, and always basal is convex, and we have a nice solution. And the patient can, after two hours, gone. By the maxilla, you need for the front area always, uh, uh, in the most of cases, we round about by 90 cases, 90% uh, from the cases, we need 70.5 uh, degrees angulated implants. When you have this one, you have the screw canal in the palatinal side. When you work with the straight abutments, you have always a screw canal in the labial side, and it's not so good for the aesthetic. You see it here, the straight abutment, and here's the 70.5 degrees abutment. You have the screw canal in the palatinal. What's the example of a lower jaw, fast and fixed cover denture? First, in the office. Yeah, I, it's an impression of the maxilla, and the impression of the um, uh, mandible, how you, uh, in the same way you have seen before. We must um, um, do a very, in, um, uh, a very extended uh, kind of um, impression. Uh, the, co um, the reason is that the dental technician makes the transfer of the um, uh, um, silicon bite key, it makes him easier to get a right transfer. Ideal is when the patient has uh, already a denture to make the impression with a denture, then you have a very um, exact uh, reconstruction and we make a second one without for both. Then a bite with and without the denture for the sagittal position, and we check the old denture under the aspects of color, aspects of uh, loss of vertical um, uh, height, and the next is inside the lab, and um, uh, the mount of the models, the analysis, and we see can we what's ideal, which kind of visio line veneers are ideal, which color we have um, uh, um, chosen, and we need, and then he can um, uh, um, uh, choose the pros prosthetic parts, and where are the spares of the screws. Uh, then the next step is the surgery. We check the screw um, uh, entrance. We make the impression. That means are the fast and fixed components in the right position, or can we change? We have the possibilities of six different positions. Then the bite with a silicone key and the check of the vertical height. Disinfection of uh, our impression and back to the lab. And then we make a uh, reposition from the implant analog in the impression and make around the implants uh, soft tissue to save this area. We make the articulation from the model and this is the, the most time what we need to control the bite and the vertical height and that's the only uh, one and only little problem what we have. And 
We need uh, the prosthetic caps is fixed with the resin bridge, one of this, and the other enough spacer, spacer for the passive fit blocking uh, into the mouth. And then back to the clinic, we loosen the screw of the prosthetic caps. We clean um, the spacer from any blood with water and then we fill up the space with curacin. It's a self-curing material, very fast curing, uh, to get a tension-free framework. Tension-free framework is the most important factor of um, osseointegration. When there is any tension, then you will lose the implant. And it's easy to get. And when we made a, a check of the bite and then back to the lab, and we can repositioning uh, the, uh, the temporary bridge in the articulator. We fill up the defects and space, and we make the basal form uh, uh, should to be convex. And then we make a high gloss polish, and then we go to the office. And then we can deliver our uh, in the mouth. We insert, we screw the bridge inside the mouth. We make and we check the, uh, 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 the implant position and uh, uh, the um, uh, gap-free um, uh, uh, matching with an X-ray, an OPG, and then look, it looks in this way. Now, uh, fast and fixed, mm -hmm. what we have? We have a unique sailing, we have competence in the team, we have an interdisciplinary collaboration, we have new customer, in the lab and new patient groups for the office. Many patients speak with us and uh, bring uh, new patients for the office. We have more time for the definitive case. We make, can make nice solutions. We uh, have a social reputation from the temporary bridge. We have the patient loyalty. The patient came always to us for the definitive case. We have no pressure points in the healing phase, no removable dentures in the mouth, and no exposing of implants and no pain. And this is what the patient like. The guide for the dental technician is a social environment. It's, you see, can the patient it clean it? What's the manner of skills? Can he speak? How is the lip line? How is the, 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 the cheeks? Uh, it's, it's enough material for this, or make what we make a bar construction or other one to bring him more volume for this area. Uh, what looks, we, how looks the soft tissue, and how long are the teeth? What is the right, uh, red white aesthetic? That's are the guide for the dental technician, and we have always 100% uh, for the definitive case. We the patient see what he get. And now back to the dental office. What's about the acceptance of the patients? We asked um, the patient six months after the final prosthetic restoration about the length of surgery. And believe me, we, I think I'm well experienced and I need in the lower jaw round about uh, 90 minutes in the um, uh, maxilla a maximum of two and a half hours, but more than 24% um, find this fast procedure too long. And uh, this uh, shows us the non-acceptance of long surgical procedures of our patients. We could read a 100% um, aesthetic um, uh, we, uh, the aesthetic demands we can fulfill in 100% of our patients because we have had time. We have had a guideline, we have seen before by uh, Stefan, um, uh, for uh, during the temporary um, uh, uh, phase, how, what's about the aesthetic expectations. Over 94% uh, uh, would like to do it again. And we have a very high rate of recommendation to friends and 
this is a very important factor for success. Uh, recommendation means the cheapest um, uh, uh, advertisement and the most effective ad ad advertisement. And this is only possible with so, um, satisfied patients. Fast and fixed issue, how many implants are necessary? For a full arch restoration, a fixed full arch restoration and the immediate loading. Where is the best implant position under prostodontic aspects? Meanwhile, we solve cases with only with four implants in the maxilla. Because if you look to this case, in our clinic, patients with money have no bone. And patients with uh, bone have no money. This is, and we try to find a right solution, but this in this case, we make always a closed healing. That means only four implants in the same way like um, we do it with for immediate restoration in the distal area tilted, anterior uh, straight, but closed healing. Not an immediate restoration with a fixed bridge. In the lower jaw, we do it always with a fixed bridge. Four implants have a better primary stability, and here we do it always uh, with an immediate temporization with a fixed bridge. The best position we see is in the position of the first molar or the second premolar. That's enough for an edentulous patient. No patient needs a second molar. And this Cross arch principle is the same like the, the um, static of your chair. You are sitting on a chair with six, uh, with four legs. Why? We, it makes no sense to create a chair with six uh, uh, legs. The, you don't improve the stability when you uh, make six um, legs. And this was our change of mind remain uh, to a reduced number of implants to get the same effect. The final decision is always this supporting field, a cross arch supporting field with a high stability for a long time, uh, long term success. When we um, uh, make uh, our implants in a straight position, then we have a rotation line. It's only possible to create a bar or a telescopic and a removable denture, but our goal is fixed teeth for our patients. And now we talk about the final restorations. The final restorations depends on when start we with the final uh, steps. It depends on the stability of the temporary bridge. Under mechanical aspects, under color, after uh, month by month, um, uh, especially smokers uh, will change the color, will, will be uh, no more aesthetic, and the speech function. The most um, uh, people wait, meanwhile, later, um, more um, time than three months. Uh, after three months, we can um, start the final restoration. It's the earliest point in the maxilla and in the mandible. And it depends on financial resources. One, when we argument to the patient, we can say, you can uh, keep your temporary um, bridge over one year to perhaps two years, and you are not under pressure to make the final restoration. Three months is a minimum ni till nine months or maximum 32 months. We have some cases. Now, the next step is we want to um, create a perfect, precise um, model because um, our uh, uh, final scaffold will be CAT CAM designed. And that means we use the fast and fixed 
temporary um, uh, a model to create, to customize, Uh, um, to create customized impression uh, posts, splint it with uh, self-curing resin, and cut it in the lab. This is the way, here, uh, um, fast and fixed, uh, temporary uh, model, and th this customized, splinted um, uh, uh, impression posts are important to um, uh, uh, cover with an um, individual and customized impression tray for an open impression technique with the highest precision we can get. This is the position of our implants. And now we have two possibilities. We can keep the fast and fixed components or we can, in this way, with for a uh, closed um, uh, impression technique or an open impression technique, we have both um, possibilities. The better one is always the open technique. Here, in this way, and we can um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, choose our um, uh, we can change the straight, uh, fast and fixed abutments to um, uh, make an impression with the standard impression posts to change the abutments to customized individual uh, uh, abutments. Here is the link of the uh, splints inside the mouth with self-curing materials and then a fixed yeah, the uh, implants are uh, splinted and fixed the posts are splinted and now the final prosthetic restoration is able with a CAT cam, titanium or a, a um, non precious uh, pre um, non uh, gold metal or with zirconia or porcelain fused to metal or removable solutions. We have every possibility uh, um, um, which are ideal. We look to the lip support. Removable solutions means always cases where we have, uh, we need a support of the lips because we have a lack of the buckle volume and the handling or, and the cleaning uh, capability of our patients. Also the speech, the pronunciation and the challenges are the vertical distance. We, often we have a very high vertical atrophic situation. The selection of the framework material, V our favorite is meanwhile titanium or the new H, uh, bio HPP. Stefan will uh, tell you something more about the selection of the veneering material, the mode of connection, cementation. Meanwhile, we don't like it. We, our favorite is a screw retention of the bridge. Absolutely important is also no tension on the framework. That's the reason why we invest time for this um, uh, uh, impression technique you have seen before for the splinting and the cust uh, of customized impression posts. We look to the pink aesthetics. Where can we get the pink aesthetics? And especially what's easy to repair, which material is ideal and which technique when we have some chipping. The smile line is our favorite, is the breakdown of the smile line is depending on the age of the patient. That means we, um, it's better to treat elder patients because the smile line is going down and not going up. 
more in this way than in this way. And this fortunately for us to find ideal aesthetic solutions. Like in this way, and here implants, the best uh, papillas are papillas created by the dental technician. And the long-term stability of these uh, papillas is ideal for us. In only 20% of all cases, the red, wine uh, red white harmony is the uh, decisive uh, issue, and we have problems. The key to success is really the impression and the models. Why we need this perfect fitting uh, model? We have all constructions in the CAD CAM technique, and this means it fits always on the model. Um, horizontal screw retented restorations are possible. Uh, restorations of titanium, there is no possibility to make any welding or, or soldering. Zirconia, the same. Cemented restorations has some um, disadvantages. Uh, the impression is important to begin the restoration to get really a, a, a perfect situation. The situation in the mouse must be the same like the situation in in uh, the model. Okay. And now the final restoration in our clinic are meanwhile 61% CATCAM titanium. And we reduced dramatically the number of CATCAM zirconia bridges and 13% were removable solutions. And now back to the lab. Back to the lab. What can we do? You see it by Dr. Bayer in this lecture. We can also, uh, what we do on the fast and fixed treatment, we have all solution. And uh, what we have by the temporary cases, we have uh, analyzed for the definitive cases. We have also here a perfect workflow. And all nurses in the clinic have this, uh, uh, this, um, this, this way, this, uh, this way, and, uh, and, and he looks, and we, we have here in this area also the time, what we need in the dental lab, and then we have always the impressions and the controls from, by, the, by the patients, and this is what we like for a, for a nice workflow, always the same, uh, the structured approach, and then we have nice solutions, and we have no problems, no uh, way is forgot. And we have always perfect try-ins and no, uh, always attention-free. We have many Excuse cases. Me, uh, we have five minutes to go. Okay. Okay. We have uh, ceramic and ceramic uh, on non-pressure materials. And the whiteness you see by BioHPP very low. We have a high aesthetic. We have we see the problems by the oral hygiene. We have in this area problems to repair this. Here we have no problems, we have the time, how lose it, and we have a very good holistic. In this cases with titanium and BIHPP, we have uh, many cases uh, with CAT CAM and superstructures, veneer material, always with composite, not so with ceramic. And uh, we have six years Visio line workflow, and in this time we have more cases with visual line veneering, we have a significant decrease of complications and uh, we have work around about with 5,000 veneers in the last five years and we have a nice workflow in the lab. We have, uh, we, we fixed the, uh, the mock-up, uh, the setup with the 
uh, silicon key, we bring it on the framework <laughs> here, a BOHPP framework, and then we make the red and white aesthetic, a high gloss polish, and we have an attention free framework into the mouse. And we have other uh, possibilities of BOHPP. We make Maryland bridges, uh, abutments or uh, oclusal screwed abutments. Uh, high aesthetic solutions, uh, uh, telescope prosthes for non-metal uh, inversation for the patient and we make bar construction and the patient has no strength in the head, it's uh, the same elastic module has BOHPP like bone and it was very good for the patient, he has a very good feeling and now we go to the end, uh, what do you learn? What we learned in the last uh, seven years Tilted implant placement is, has, needs also a learning curve. Um, maxillary tilted implant placement is a little bit more difficult. 3D diagnosis is obligatory. The prosthetic hardware has to be adapted to the treatment protocol and immediate loading protocol um, is technically sensitive. You need an um, experience um, uh, dental technician nearby. Uh, here you see a big number of implants cases. Yeah, here is the learning curve inside and when I go back uh, you see our way of success is this way and we reduced the number of implants. We can find solutions for the fastest growing patients group. This is not highly innovative, but scientifically and clinically absolute proven. It's patient-oriented implantology with a high acceptance of the uh, patients. And we have here our last slide and we have done really a lot of cases more than 550 and now look to this will be this the way of success okay. this is the, um, he is uh, the world champion in implants number is Dr. Tapete from Mexico uh, some of you, Sherin, you know him. Yes. Uh, it's the ICI Congress in Istanbul. He will be um, uh, present. And his philosophy is for each um, root, one implant. But I think under biological aspects, uh, there is no um, uh, nutrition of the bone between. Uh, and he never shows cases of long-term stability. It's impressive to uh, um, uh, see such a, um, a picture, but our way of success is we reduce number of implants, tilted implants, uh, without any augmentation, and we have the same success, perhaps more success. Uh, welcome to the workshops in the afternoon. Steffen uh, makes a workshop about HPP and VisioLine. This is uh, the new material, and I will demonstrate you uh, uh, doing at the model a, a live surgery. With, um, and you can ask me uh, everything about the fast and fixed concept. And thank you for your kind attention. <laughs>